with that stun. Hey, up, mate. The man winks you as if nothing has happened. I have to ask you, uh, what happened to you? When I was younger, only a teenager, really. I was one of the guards in an asylum not far from Tintagel. Okay. In the dark morass, we were stationed there to ensure the plague wouldn't spread. You know how it is with all these infected people. Since the destined to die of the Red Death, they just don't care what happens to the rest of us. And, yeah, what do you do to deserve this? I was supposed to protect the healthy, but at one point, I couldn't. I got soft. I got soft and I couldn't keep up with my duties. I okay. couldn't sacrifice the few for the many. I did save a group of infected people, but I let the plague spread. Now you see the nature of my crime. You think about his deeds and realize that if he was just a teenager back then, he must have been sitting here for a long, long time. Yeah, he's like in his 60s. Well, you show compassion, it backfired, but it counts, yeah. Maybe I did. But many people, maybe even ones more innocent than those I saved, died because of my choice. Mm. Ask for a sample of the flame. You explain that someone in your village is interested in his condition. Yeah. You ask for a sample of the flame. The man shrugs and looks back at you with a puzzled stare. He falls silent. You know there's more that he wanted to ask you, but you can clearly see that he's not in the mood for further conversation. Okay. Uh, sit by the fire. Lose 10% HP. Let's get a legendary card. To all enemies, raise your damage this turn. Yeah, that's 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 a really good one. Especially for the Berserker. So we are a little bit low on health. Use one of these. Do, 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 do. Mm. Um, I don't want to use this ogre string. I want to save that for like bosses and stuff. I didn't really need to use the block was if I'm gonna shield slam do I did each card you play increases my okay mm. interesting who are you you greet the former prisoner but he still doesn't answer he rattles his chains in a rhythm as if trying to communicate can't understand what these clattering sounds might mean. Rain? Mmm, fighting spirit. 
Every tenth hit is doubled. Each turn, gain five damage. Yeah, let's get the Fighting Spirit one. Alright, later, mate. Marketplace. Oh, that's the ghost. Perch brought what? I don't know what that is. There's the big boy boss there. Mm -mm. Yep. Can't do any damage to the other guy because all the damage is redirected to the pig. Shut up, please. I don't know what, what's going on with you, but... in here this ancient thick walled rock now rock as a the hell's a rock prison you may try to break the prisoner free but you never know who that might be a follower who will strengthen your village an ingrate who will simply run away or maybe a criminal who will attack you out of sheer spite for everything living a um who will strengthen your village an ingrate Free the prisoner. Oh. Welp. Hi. Mindbender. Oh, that's cool. Lock that damage. He reducing their armor. That was easy. Mmm, deal one hit. Chain. Deal four hits to four inner enemies. We lose a little bit of damage, but we don't have a lot of stuff to bust my damage, so I'd rather get the Stormblade. Uh, for the first three hits in combat, reduce the armor of all enemies by 25. Whenever you kill an enemy, deal one hit. Oh, that could be good. I'd rather start with some uh, ultimate charges. That way we can get some health steal. Free the prisoner. Thank you for taking me out. Do you know of any place where I might go? Find shelter? I promise I can be of use. I trained people in martial arts for years. Uh, you might, yeah. Then I'll meet you in your village. He thanks you sincerely okay. and starts walking, but he collapses as soon as he takes his first step out of his cell. The instant he touches the ground, he dissipates into a cloud of weirdness. Oh. Master at Arms achievement. Oh, so we actually did recruit him. He's... Okay. Um... Sure, let's try and fight this dude. Yeah, reduce their armor as much as possible.
block this guy. Trying to kill this dude, but he just won't die. Okay, he's dead. Now I can finally attack these other fuckers. Actually, I shouldn't have stunned them there. This is a full-on attack round right here. Let's block that one. Block it again. That goes the last legendary card. Get two things. Gar rune. I've already got one gar. Let's try and see if we can buy another gar back in town. Mm. Yeah, this one initial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every tenth card played increases your damage until the end of combat. Okay. That's every turn though. Pied Piper? Shield bash.
night, sunshine. Uh, this turn, gain 50 armor and stun every enemy that hits you. Discard your hand, draw five cards. Duplicate the next card, play double pain. Yeah. A stand. Do I have any stands? No. Who is the Pied Piper? As you walk carefully in the woods, a quick, lithe creature runs towards you. It takes you a moment to realize it's a human. He brandishes a short wooden stick, screaming and shouting in despair. Nice. My children! I've seen what you've done to my children! Oh. He's not talking about the rats I've killed, right? Barbarian! Sacrilegious scum! Rude! You shouldn't have done that. What will I do without them? You watch him, confused. He looks malnourished, as if he's had nothing to eat since he entered the weirdness. And you're sure that was a long, long time ago. Okay. I failed them. I couldn't protect them. I'm not worthy of it anymore. What are you not worthy of? Turns out the stick he tried to beat you with. Take it. It's your duty now. That was a flute. Uh, yeah, why do I need a, a weird flute? He plays a simple melody. Suddenly rats swarm all over you. You've seen enough of them already to know how this will end. Um, ask him to stop. Why? They were my children. My lovely children. Look. He plays a simple melody and the rats suddenly stop. Some sway from left to right as if dancing to the rhythm. You see? They would never hurt me. Maybe you should eat one or two of them. Reduce damage to, uh, for everyone by 50% this turn. Are there any other songs you can play? Yeah. Plenty. But I'm not in the mood to play those melodies. Next time, I'll teach you. All right. Use it. Use it every time you see them. Play this every time you see my children. Promise me. Promise. You All right. To the stranger and leave him to his madness. So whenever I see, oh, is this the hangman treat? Yes, please. So whenever I see rats, I gotta play the flute. sunshine oh great one of those don't need him oh god wait yes that's what i'm after yes mm, deal eight to all enemies awesome do, 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 do. as you approach the tree it seems to shift and move you draw closer and suddenly you realize why the tree yeah, it's hanging of rock one of the corpses speaks you hear that? I hear someone coming. If I hadn't stolen the eyes, I could see them. And the ravens wouldn't be eating mine all the time. Oh. Another corpse, left with only the rotting top half of his body, responds immediately. At least you got to keep your lower half. No women for me anymore. I doubt anybody wants to sleep with someone being hung from a tree. His jaw is hanging by one cord-like tendon. Oh. He's trying to laugh manically, but it sounds more like a dry wind rustling through a desert. Nah, no, woman we'll never wanted you anyway. Even when you had your lower off. Toxic. Ask about the eyes. It's the eyes you want. You'll have to reach for my backside. Cause I can't in my predicament. We'll never give him back to that treacherous bastard. Maybe if you ask for mercy for us. 
Mercy? For him? Good joke! He ain't the merciful kind. Isn't that why we worshipped him? Uh, threaten him with fire? Nah, need to be rude, friend. With no means to defend ourselves. Take pity. We've probably developed some oozing diseases Ugh. beyond your wildest imagination. Hanging up here all this while? Go on, touch us and find out. Dave, look for the eyes then, if you're so desperate. Go on, do it. Possible negative consequences. Look for the eyes. After searching for a while, you find something. Something wet. Something weirdly soft. Ugh. Human eyes of a hue you've never seen before. You toss them into your back and turn to leave. As you take your first step, the tree suddenly becomes still and silent. Not a single leaf rustles. Not a single rope creaks. You shudder and decide not to look back. Okay. No negative effects? Cool, let's go. Who's over here? That's the fortune seller. Oh, that's a treasure pile. No, I don't really want to deal with a treasure pile right now. I'm pretty sure that will kill me. So let's take the portal back, shall we? guide using that thing oh you can feel it the candle maker's nightmare is going to appear again and indeed you see oh the no bodies. go away take out your weird candle it's you you filthy corrupt of decent Apparently he thinks you're low it seems he's unable to see with his eyes but he definitely feels the light of a candle this guy killed me last time. It burns right through his skin. Limbs stretch wildly out of his belly and twist and gyre in desperate motion. Ugh. He quickly disappears into the shadows, seeking the protection of the weirdness. After he's gone, you notice a small pouch left behind on the ground. There's nothing of value inside, but perhaps Luch will tell you more about the contents. Okay. Your objective. Sweet. Ghost. I don't really want to talk to the ghost. Turn to the village. All right, look right here. Uh, uh give him the sample of fire. This will do. Yes. Now, give me some time. The candle maker disappears into the room you're forbidden from entering. Yeah. You wait patiently. Hours pass. And then he finally returns with a sad look on his face. Oh. So, I have two answers for you. Good and bad. Which one would you like to hear first? Uh, tell me the bad news. His condition is in no way useful for our village. It's just another case of things being twisted by the weirdness. That's all. So, the good news is... I know how to save your friend. And... It's not that complicated. Cool. The sad truth here is that your friend was a soldier and a coward in life. This means that he wasn't cursed for his crimes. It means that he wants to be punished for them. Oh. He wants to be purified, absolved, connected to the fire. Yeah. This is his own chosen punishment. Get it? Yeah. See, it's all in his head. He can get up as soon as he really wants to. When he forgives himself. It's as simple as that. Now, I don't think that's so simple. Yeah. It's not that simple at all. Okay, so about your monster. You tell the candle maker everything about your encounter with the monster he was so afraid of. He... It's his people in order to protect them. Yeah. That's unbelievable. 
greedy bastard. You see, he knew they'd be safer with me. But the only things he cared about were his own pride and influence. You show Luch the pouch you found on the ground. When he takes a look inside, his eyes suddenly light up. I wasn't sure, but I know whose pouch it is. It belonged to Val. Everyone loved her. She was a star. Quite naive and innocent. Okay. A sweet child, really. I bet she was his last victim. Poor Val. But there's something strange about this. I can sense something odd emanating from this pouch. Something I can't quite describe. Give me a moment. You do, you mate. He disappears into his secret room. But he leaves the door open so that you can still hear him talk. You did well. And I have an idea for how to avenge the life of this extraordinary girl. Uh, yeah, what do you have in mind? The monster must carry at least one more... thing... with him. I don't know what it is, or who it belonged to, but... We weren't a big group. Bring me that second item, and I think I'll be able to surprise you. In a good way. Okay, so I gotta let the candle go out. The monster must bring me that set. Yeah, okay. Wait, so we got this guy now? Yeah, the Master of Arms. Thank you for breaking me out of that prison. It felt like eternity. Maybe it was an eternity. Are you ready to practice? Uh, sure. How many upgrade your skills and oh card shards each card you didn't take during uh level up turns into card shards currency used to buy permanent upgrades that sounds pretty neat mm, choose available cards duplicate a card all right let's talk to her ready yeah, help with a sudden knight. The master at arms listens intently to what you have to say about the sizable knight. He even asks questions, trying to learn more about his father and the way he was raised. Well, from what you're saying, it's pretty obvious what's going on with this child. This boy doesn't need more food, or to be experimented on by some druid. He needs a father. He needs responsibility. Okay. I'm too old to take care of this myself but my friend the one you met already might be able to help i'm sure he'll be able to help figure out what to do with this child oh the wandering warrior guy how did you end up in prison there's nothing to talk about really prisons are built to lock bad people up so i must have been one of them back then yeah that's not an answer why are you so interested in my past i ask well, everybody else gave me back my freedom I suppose that I owe you a story in addition to my services. Ah. I was a commander of Lord Warwick's private army. Served under his damned eight stars on a burgundy background flag. When I tried to retire, he forced me to stay on as a tutor. So okay. I trained his soldiers. And believe me, I trained them well. Then one time I disobeyed an order. Refused to train one of the younglings. I just couldn't. You can see that he doesn't want to continue. The ending of this story? Well, you already know it. You set me free from the prison I ended up in. And now my skills are at your command. Just do not repeat my lord's mistakes. All right, mate. Uh, so of these mistakes I shouldn't repeat. Don't be stubborn. Observe what's going on around you, then you should be fine. I shall speak no more. I have my honor to protect. Fair enough. But that's all I have left of my former life. Nope, nothing else. Cool. Uh, I think I'm good, right? What can I do? Yeah. Hilda is sitting in front of her house and speaking to herself. 
My father banished me from home because I was responsible for my mother's death. Then my experiments were the cause of Master Iron's death. I didn't remember any of this. What else do I not remember? Mm. Be you honed to salvation? You're fine, the blacksmith likes you. You poor, poor child. Why can't you all finally understand that in this broken world, nothing is exactly as it seems? She sits beside Hilda. Your father blamed you for your mother's death, but he wasn't there when the accident happened. No adult was. You were a child, left unattended. True. When the fire broke out, was it really your fault that no adult was there to douse it? Hilda sighs. She tries to say something, but the seamstress cuts in. He punished you by sending you away with a man he knew he could count on. And he trusted Iron because Iron was a coward. Oh, damn, okay. Hilda seems to be getting sadder and sadder. Yet it's a calm sadness. I'm sure he hated you at first, but he was happy about the pouch of gold he received from your father. With time, I believe he saw your potential. You have a gift, girl, and he used your gift for coming up with magical potions to make money. Plenty of travelers were buying your mixtures from him. You didn't even know, did you? All you've ever known is a man who fed you and took care of you, whatever that care was worth, and was disappointed whenever your experiments went wrong. He lost money with every cauldron you destroyed and every fire you caused. You were raised by a crook, Hildy. Iron wouldn't have died in that fire if he were conscious while you worked. It's too bad that at some point he wasn't all that interested in being conscious at all. Oh, also, he was drunk? You were left alone and unattended again. And this time, you were left with your talent exploited and no proper directions. You're not a witch, Hildy. You're not a woman whose purpose is to know better. Your talent has its essence in fire. And fire burns. That is fire's main purpose. Embrace it and stop lying to yourself. I like the seamstress. And she weeps. How do you know all that? I'm a seamstress. It's my job to weave and sew. Sometimes that means knowing more than one person probably should. But that's exactly what makes me good at my job. Okay, I guess that's an answer. She turns to the girl. Sleep it off, Hildy. Tomorrow everything will be much brighter. You'll see. Thank you. You're right. I'll go sleep it off now. If we're not saying from that, uh, don't leave her unattended. NPC save, special card available. Great. We're all here now, thanks to you. And we're all going to help any way we can. But it seems I was wrong. Their presence didn't rekindle my memories. But I suppose I have another idea. I've been talking with Neith, the seamstress, and she suggested that my memories aren't dependent on everyone being here. Okay. But on all of us being free of issues which plague our minds. Maybe if you help them out, maybe then my memories will come back. All right, my man. Upgrades, uh, rest. Uh, we've got how many healing things? Don't think we have enough. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, that's actually where I'm going to call it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying today's stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit that follow button. Otherwise, check me out on YouTube where I upload everything as soon as I am able to, or Discord, or Twitter. See when I go live. Let's see if there's someone I can send you boys and girls onto who is up and about at the moment. Mm -mm -mm. Anybody I know? Let's look. Mm. All right. Yeah, I'm going to send you guys over to the Visual Pine. He's a good friend of the channel, currently playing some Persona 5 Royale, so if that's something you enjoy, feel free to come along on this raid. I'll be back tomorrow, usual time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Until then, take care, love your faces, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>